showcase a item that I just picked up that was desperately needed. I didn't realize how bad I needed it until I got it. And it will be a capture card because I do a lot of live streaming and live streaming has really picked up popularity due to COVID, you know, since February, March. But I've been live streaming for, I don't know, two, maybe three years. And I thought I had some pretty good basic equipment, nothing too fancy or high end, but it works for me. So I decided to make an investment and I want to showcase what I received so that you don't feel the need to spend three, four, five hundred dollars for a device that you can pick up for about 70, 75 bucks. All right, so to live stream, it's a pretty basic application, very popular. You're going to need a um, computer, either a PC or a Mac, and that allows you to take your video and it goes through the internet. So you need a good internet connection. You don't need the fastest, but the faster, obviously, the better. And then depending on what video device you use, I, I use a combination of cameras depending on whether I shoot with uh, one, two, three, whatever you need might be. I mean, when I first started, I had one basic little USB camera, uh, like a cheapo model. And back in those days, that thing was uh, getting a lot of rave reviews. So I've got camera here, a uh, HDMI um, camcorder, and I have my uh, DSLR camera. Uh, this one you do not need a capture card because Canon, it's an EOS model and they actually have a, U, a EOS uh, software package within an app that you get on your computer and that allows you to show the video on the from the computer into your screen so that whether you're in YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, um, whatever whatever you're streaming it to, um, Instagram, there's a, there's a host of them. But the primary ones that I use are uh, Facebook, I use YouTube, that's my go-to, and then I use uh, Instagram. Uh, problem with Instagram is, is you can only go up to maybe 60 minutes, at least right now, because the technology is changing all the time, and that's why you want to be careful. And like anything else, you have to stay on top of these things because uh, it, it's an it's a ever-changing process. And as I say, with COVID, there's more and more coming on board. So some good, some bad, but whatever works for you. So basically, I got the cam I got the capture card for this camera here that I picked up, more of a professional model. And even though it's an EOS uh, camera, it does not have an application uh, that Canon provides. It does have a workaround that they came up with, but you're still going to need a... Well, it has a workaround if you're going to Zoom. But if you're going to uh, other applications, you're out of luck. So this capture card works right here then of course this is what i had been using this is my black magic intensity pro and this works great the only problem is uh when you want to get into multiple cameras that's when you kind of scratch your head and realize oh that's why i need a capture card so i can use more cameras so anyway i'll show you how it works real simple this up on amazon it was like 70 75 bucks i forget it's a heck of a deal um because again, when you price these out, you're you're looking at three, four, or five hundred dollars, and I'm saying what? And I didn't know if I wanted to invest that kind of money. Whereas for seventy dollars, it's a make sense investment because again, you have that extra firepower or ammunition that you might want, uh, especially when you're live streaming. You want that uh, added uh, quality of your video, and two cameras certainly are better than one, and it just makes it that much more professional. So the packaging is straightforward. What you see is what you get. It's a Chinese um, a manufactured product like most electronics are somewhere in Asia. Uh, and this is a uh, WeStar HDMI to USB. Okay. Open it up. And what you see is what you get. Comes with a couple of peripheral cords. This is your um, HDMI. And it also has USB which is and also has USB-C for all of you that might use a Mac. You can use Mac or PC. Then, of course, this is an HDMI cord. Unfortunately, it won't work for my application because uh, the cameras take a uh, take a HDMI Mini. And then, of course, here's a disc. You're going to need this because you download the software so that your computer can recognize it. Even though this is uh, plug and play. You still want to go through the download process just to make sure you've got it. Uh, but my computer recognized it. And again, I'll walk through the process with you so you can see how it works. And you get a little uh, manual that comes in here as well. User manual, HDMI to USB, video capture. What the heck is that? 
And then we started, again, I had never heard of the uh, manufacturers. I was skeptical. But again, I figured for 75, 75 bucks, I mean, you know, come on, I can take that kind of investment. Because of the equipment that I have, I just didn't want to spend three, four hundred. And so this was an eye opener. Okay. And I'll fire it up and we'll see how it, uh, how it works. And then you can make your own de determination. Again, these videos, if you like them, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Hit like or if you dislike, comments are always welcome because that's what helps um, providers like myself enhance what we're what we're uh providing to users such as yourself such as suggestions comments again we're not concerned about how i look or little uh, nebulous things we're talking strictly about the product so please spare me the spare me the critique if for whatever reason you don't like the tablecloth or who knows what the box should have been white instead of brown save that for another uh critique but if you're serious about wanting to um um comment about the product i welcome those okay let me fire up the computer and then we'll put these together and then we'll see exactly how it works now i use this toshiba notebook i've got several computers actually when i started streaming several years ago i kind of start using this one for stream so i've dedicated uh most of my streaming to this because it's a flip notebook i can use it to various functions and it works for me uh, it's a good brand. Uh, it's also a, um, you can swipe it or you can use the keyboard. I, I'm old school, so I use the keyboard. Now, a lot of computers uh, nowadays, uh, they don't have drives for you to install uh, software. So if you're like me, accessory, on a hard drive that you use as part of your computer setup, and because you're going to need that hard drive to install this. Uh, you might try searching online, but I think I looked and I didn't see anything. So you're better off having a standalone drive. You simply insert it in, it reads it, and then you download it. Again, it does mention in the uh, instructions plug and play, but I wouldn't take any chances. I'd still want to have it installed. That way you know for sure you're following the instructions instead of freelancing. Okay, the software has been installed. As I said, I installed this uh, July, June 6th, and when you install it, it's going to be into your uh, program files, uh, which is right here, and then it's under No Dan Joe. Again, that's probably the uh, the developer of the uh, software. And as you click on that, it's AM Cap, is what it's called, and you open up that folder. And there you go. That's what your window looks like when it opens up. Goes right into my USB port right here. It's a high speed, which is blue, 3.0. Goes right there. And let's fire it up. Your, your Type-C connector goes right there. Your light comes on. You're fired up. Okay. So now all we have to do is connect it to our uh, to our devices and see if we get a uh, see if we get a screen. So it says here we're setting up. It's called the FHD capture on your system. So look for that. Setting up FHD capture. Okay. So we're going to use this camera here. And remember I mentioned to you, this has a, um, these HDMIs on these kind of cameras use a mini HDMI. So this is where you're going to need this wire. And I've got a bunch of HDMI high-speed wires. Uh, but they're inexpensive. Again, I picked the um, capture card up on Amazon. I more than likely got this on Amazon because you can't beat it. They deliver it to you. And why try to reinvent the wheel? So we're going to plug this right here under our out. And then we're going to plug it into the camera right here. And let's see here. 
All right, we've got it connected. So let me just show you a few things real quick. The capture card, you show the blinking blue, that means it is connected. The red is merely your on indication, your USB cord C. HDMI in. Here's your US, here's your um, cable on your USB port. On the camera, I've got it under my HDMI mini, and I'm just gonna show this screen over here. I'm in OBS, so I can take this out, and that's what it looks like. We do have video, so the capture card is working fine. Again, I'll take a particular Canon camera, so no harm, no foul. Now, let's try with my more high-powered uh, Mark II. There we go. So it works. Same thing. Plugs into your HDMI mini. This camera is much, much more powerful than the little camcorder. But again, it gives me now uh, the capability to have more than one camera. And through something as simple as this uh, HDMI Cord. Let me turn this off and wrap this up for you. So hopefully uh, this has helped you, but it is a very inexpensive uh, option that is a fantastic tool that I'm sure you'll be using if you do live streaming. Again, I'm using a PC, a capture card, video equipment, and I'm off to the races provided I've got a high-speed internet. I can live stream on multiple uh, platforms, and for 75 bucks, I'm very pleased with this. So hopefully this uh, helps you with your purchase or your decisions as you're trying to decide what product to uh, purchase. But for me, again, $300, $400, $500 is just out of my budget. This was perfect at $70, $75. Can't go wrong. I won't use it that much, but again, I have that added confidence that when I want to step up my uh, live streaming game, I've got a device that allows it to uh, happen. Okay, thanks for watching. Like if you like, if you dislike for whatever reason, check this like.